If you saw Orchestral Tools presentation, to me it was just so well done, so put together. It was done in, in almost like a um, documentary style format. What that allowed them to do was introduce us to not just another collection of samples, but the talented musicians that were behind the instruments. But let's just see, in the sign player, so we've got five different categories, strings, voices, plug, percussion, and processed. We're going to just load up the string quartet first. And see, I went ahead and just loaded the whole thing. So over on the sign player, you've got all the articulations there. So we're gonna to go to the performance tab. You know, these are just like adventures for me. It's like opening up a gift. That's just, that's just the way we roll, I guess. So this is the legatos. And it's very dry. You can, you can see by, by the picture of the hall, the hall has just got a very close, dry sound to it. So this has the violin, viola, and cello playing together. Gorgeous. Okay, so let's um, go to just the sustains. Listen to the releases. <sighs> yeah. And the other thing that I love is uh, being able to just drag the range, you know, extend the ranges of these. Uh, I can extend the ranges and uh, move the key switches down. That's one of the that's one of the cool things. Well, it's, it's just the flexibility that the sign player um, allows you to do. So I'm just going to stretch this out, and you can see that the um, the lighter the, the lighter gray is our where we extended it, and then the solid is where the natural range is. But you know me. I mean, I've got to get all of my hands, uh, my fingers on there. Um, and, but it opens up something totally brilliant. open this is this is like one of my favorite things to do and even 
even though we've stretched it out, it still sounds uh, gorgeous. And you can tell up here when we stretched it out, it's getting a little, little crazy. Beautiful. And we've got the octaves. Um, Yes, Sam. Uh, yeah, let, let's take a look at that because this is another wonderful thing that Orchestral Tools does. So it's 279 euros currently at the intro, which ends on January 1st. Let's see what we can do. Okay, instruments. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so here is what we can see how they, how they allow you to purchase these, purchase these separately. So the string quartet is 50 euros. And you can just kind of pick up what you what you want. It's just um, a really interesting approach to providing their libraries. Okay, so this is the octaves. Legatos. And then um, the octave sustains. And we've got sustains without vibrato, so they're going to be straighter. And that makes them a little more icier. Having them straight like that without vibrato makes it Makes it very nice. Uh, portato. Really cool. And you know, there's no way we're gonna be able to run through every one of these, uh, but uh, I'm gonna try to do um, do my best. <laughs> Very beautiful. Spiccato. Spiccato sounds like it's just like um, you're just kind of brushing this thing. Yeah, I yes, yeah, Steph. I I really enjoy just just that uh, that really relaxed and laid back. It's very. Um, it's very nice, very peaceful, and uh, very nice. He's doing a great job uh, with all of these. Pizzicato, and again, this is still, this is the quartet. Yeah, oh, well, let's see. Yeah, I guess it is, yeah, string quartet. That's cool. <laughs> okay, let's go down to these. Um, um, okay, let's just see what what this uh, what this looks like. Uh, swells long.
It is, Steph. It is very natural and what they say, close, um, very close, personal and intimate, really close. shorts swell swell short and those things you know being played and performed give you a nice um, give you a nice dynamic okay the major arpeggios So you can use these for like beds. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You just hear all kinds of stuff going on. Major arps and then minor. Oh, well. Now, I'm going to see something here. I'm going to check the... Um, yeah, okay, so they, they've got them not tempo synced, and then they have them... Um, where you can map those time stretched. There we go. The TM on the end of the uh, patch name, that uh, tells you that they, um, that they're time, they're time mapped. So I'm just going to go to like 90. Yeah. I like when you can time sync, you know, you can time sync things together. So these are the irregular repetitions. And this is where you get into uh, some aleatoric or some random types of things. Irregular crescendos. Yeah, and you hear this iciness and the harmonic things going on. The imaging, the imaging, the stereo imaging is interesting. Let's just see what the mics, um, yeah. So this has got um, a main cardioid, uh, and then uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn the spot mics on. And those are close, close up. Very dry, very icy and beautiful. So let me just turn on the main cardioid and that picks up the whole group. And of course there are other mic positions that you can download. Um, I think they've got some surround mics um, as well, which are kind of cool. Okay, irregular slow accents, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click the um, spot one, and um, yeah, it's almost that close, uh, Sam. <laughs> that it just, you, it, it's just like it, you're, it's just, the, it's just this, this close to you. Um, so this is irregular slow accents. Listen to that. 
the releases, the the. Wow, that's gorgeous. And these, I think, are my favorite uh, articulations, the uh, irregular flybys. Um, let's see. I've got to stretch these. I've got to stretch this down a little bit. Um, yeah, listen to this, man. Ooh. Stretch it down so I can grab that E. This is just like my. library uh then we've got um let me just um let me load up the uh, just solo violas and this is one of the things they um um they did not include a solo violin or uh there's no bass so you you have um you know just solo viola and cello and i'm gonna just um let's see i'm gonna just drag and drop this on top just so we can Take a listen to um, just a little bit of the viola. sustains. I like having them separated out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. And then um, let's go back to the cello. So that's just the spot one mic. Let's just do the spot two and, and just hear what. Uh... And we can take the main cardioid off and get more of a, an 
even more close up. Let's go on to the voices. And the voices, we've got uh, six, uh, six, different, um, six different packages here, uh, female ensemble. And even the vocals are so dry. Um, let's just see what the mics are. Yeah, so we've got uh, spot mic and the main cardioid. So having them so dry like this is, gives you an opportunity to process them and take them to different places. Sustains, pause. Okay, let's see. Yes, yeah, Steph, let's just see something. Let's put, uh, let's see if we can put, uh, just for grins, let me just, uh, let me just throw a little bit of, um, throw a little bit of that in there. Let's see, where are we here? Yeah, Valhalla, uh, let's do, uh, Let's do a little super massive on that. Yeah. Now this is um, Solu with a little super massive on there. And that does make it sound. To put it in a space. Yeah, Valhalla has some fantastic, I love their effects. I'm gonna kind of keep that in the rack. Um, I'm gonna bypass it. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, the thing is, you know, the reverb makes it sound really cool, but if it had reverb or, or hall baked into it, you couldn't do that. Uh, once you, un, you know, you cannot unbake a cake. Uh, so it's good to be able to have the ingredients that you can kind of bake your own. Um, Bake your own cake. Um, so we've got some syllables. And it looks like they, they cycle through the... Um, yeah, so they, they, seek, they cycle through. Very cool. And I don't know exactly if you have control over um, individual syllables. So we've got some long humming type of things. And this is just the female ensemble. Really cool. Okay, let's go back to the library. And where is it? There we go. And let's go to, uh, 
Yeah, so they, they do not have them combined. So you've got the, the female ensemble and then the um, male ensembles are different. Um, then we've got special articulations. Irregular buzzing. <laughs> Regular repetitions, those are kind of fun. Interesting. Cluster pads. It's kind of like, uh, that's wild. <laughs> Let's just take a quick listen to the, uh, to the, to the male, the male arcs uh, here. Um, And similar to the um, that's cool, and um, some long humming. Uh, this is this is right the next category the plucked in keys one of the highlights for me so we've got canal harp and piano let's see so this is the solo canal and the canal is kind of like a um a cantel uh so it's almost like a zither type of instrument so let's go let's see here so this is the sustains yeah <laughs> Go to the envelope and just I want to I like I like extending that release. It's almost like a uh... it's kind of like a harpsichord -y type of um, if that is even a word. Um... That's nice. And we've got some tremolos. 
And arpeggios, this is, this is kind of cool. And then these arpeggios are tempo synced, the TM. And let's uh, go to 75. That's a very beautiful sound. Very beautiful sound. And let's go to the, uh, the solo harp. Staccatos. That's pretty cool. And let's see. These are irregular, irregular octave drops. Petitions. Okay, now let's go in and check out the, uh, with all three of them together, the canal, the harp, and the piano. together really takes things
And then the sound stage is really beautiful. Um, that is beautiful. See, I like extending that envelope out. You've got a little, a little release in the room. Yeah, cool. Irregular repetitions. And since we have the mic positions, we can actually go in. I'm gonna turn off the main cardioid. So you can isolate the three individual instruments. So, so you've got harp, spot two, piano is three. So you can kind of blend these together. Kind of create your own custom mix with that. And you can put in that main cardioid. So with them combined, you know, the spot mics allow you to um, kind of isolate the individual instruments a little bit more. Okay, so let's just uh, check out the piano. This is uh, a, an Estonian upright piano and uh, it's kind of got um, what you might call felt vibes to it but they used I guess they said they used a um, you know softer t-shirt type of material um, and uh, to give it just a different type of sound so this is the sustains
just got a nice different, uh, different type of softness to it. And, you know, you can get the piano separately. You don't have, uh, you can get the piano separately. I think, uh, I think Emmanuel, I think that's what you did. Um, you picked up the piano like this. Uh, so the regular repetitions. This is kind of like, um, the particles engine in a way, but it's done by a, you know, the, the person's actually playing these repetitions. Yeah, it is, it, it sounds a little bit like that um, particle engine type of thing, uh, but it's done by a human and not uh, an algorithm, which is cool. Thank you, Steph, I appreciate that. I think you just have the heart in there. You, you just hear that irregular drops. This is kind of interesting. We've got to have the noises. Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> you know, just for fun. Okay, so um, just hit the percussion. <laughs> Let's hit the percussion a little bit. Um, this is, um, yeah, let's just do, just go through some of these. Let's see, I'm going to extend that. Uh, No, no, I bypassed, uh, bypassed Valhalla on this. Uh, we might put that back in a little bit later, checking out, uh, maybe with, pull the piano back up. It's on soft mallets, medium. Hard mallets. And the water bucket was kind of interesting because they they filled the tube up, uh, put it inside of the water to give it some kind of a, like, uh, it modulates that. Yeah, you hear it. The water bucket modulates the pitch. <laughs> Wild. Uh, Glockenspiel. Okay, let's see. And again. And the thing is, it's just, again, you're getting a very dry, um, dry sound. Let's see, we've got um, single hits hard. Let's 
the crotalis. Very cool. <laughs> okay, Glissandi. Oh, wow. Glissando, like a pitch, like some pitch shifting here. Uh, cool. Okay, so this is the uh, Glockenspiel and Crotalis played together. So that's another uh, combination thing. So this is just the Glockenspiel by itself. And this is bowed. This is a bowed glockenspiel. And that's like a pure sine wave type of thing. Very cool. And um, thunder sheet, yeah, why not? We'll just hit these. Yeah, so you get some really interesting percussion, tam-tam, vibraphone. And they've bowed the vibraphone as well. That's so nice. It's really cool. Um, chimes. Soft mallets. Medium. Yeah, so these are all, um, like these, they're, you know, they're performing these. So there, there are no, like MIDI, MIDI performances, they're, they're just either captured, performed by the percussionist. Very cool. Okay, so now, last but not least, let's go to the processed category. You've got six different uh, things here, and we'll just hit a couple of these. These are processed, so this is flickering lights. So this takes like the sample content that they did and it kind of takes it somewhere else. You can hear voices and strings all kind of blended in here. Check out Snowfall. So this opens up a whole different... a little thing. Granny Mist. So this has some vocals in there. So this has some vocals and strings, percussion, processed. Let's see, the mod wheel takes it through different dynamic. It's pushing it up a little bit.
Yeah, so the harder you push the mod wheel up, it brings more, more things come in. Um, so, oh wow, shimmering voices. One thing I wish they would have is like a favorites type of filter. Oh. Shimmering voices. Let's put the little Valhalla on this. Yeah, just a little extra something, something. Uh, let's see. Interception is one that I that I really enjoy listening to. Um, have um, evolving let's see iridescent wow yeah it's like uh, absolutely yeah this is kind of synthy but organic at the same time or, or to say it this way organic synthesis Forest harp, and I'm I'm just kind of hearing some of these from the for first time. Oh, okay, listen to that. that's wild. See, let's just check out uh, a couple more of these. Frosty Scrape. So it's got those circular type of bowings and stuff going on. Dream state, let's just check out a couple more. Uh, the thaw. That's really nice. Uh, this is kind of interesting. White Lady of the White Lady of the Woods. <laughs> and then I'm starting with the uh, CC1 down, and then as we bring it up, more things come in. And 
let's just check uh, icicle bells. This is some plucked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go back up to um, Upright Dreaming. Let's see what that is. Okay. So we've got a little bit of the... Um, the upright piano going on here. Okay. Let's see. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and throw September strings on here. I'm going to put them on. Um, let me see. And we can go in the mixer. Okay, that's... Uh, I want to go back to uh, flickering lights and I want to drop it on September strings. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to blend in a little bit of flickering lights and back down this uh, upright dreaming just a little bit. Now let's go back to the uh, solo piano. BF, good to see you. Hope you're doing good. I've been seeing you around uh, VI control and different things, but it's good to see you here. Um, good to see you here. So this is the solo piano. solo piano up a little bit. So I've got solo piano, upright dreaming, and flickering lights from the uh, processed things. And let's kind of blend these in together.
I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for joining me today. And I can't wait to uh, spend some more time uh, going on some more joyful journeys with all of you. Wow. Oh, come. All ye faithful. Joyful and triumphant. O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye. To Bethlehem. Come and behold him. Born the King of Come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Cry. And I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, blessings to all and have a joyful good night. This is Simeon and I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> Stay joyful. Stay joyful. Thank you.